Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please do what feels right for you. You're welcome to skip anything or change anything. Let's begin sitting. If you have something you might want to sit up on, you're welcome to grab a blanket or cushion. Come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Either close your eyes or take a soft gaze. Drawing your attention back to right here, right now. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you. Let's begin by taking the right arm up. We'll bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and take it back, stretching right upper arm, shoulder. Feeling around inside the pose. And then release, arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in as close as you can. And as you do, draw back through your shoulders. So you're still square across the chest, still sitting nice and tall. Release, arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back, interlace fingers at your waist, pull your knuckles around towards the front, elbows go towards one another, and then circle your right shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest. And then fold any amount. Maybe reaching arms up and back away from you. Release, come up. Hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. We'll take the left arm up, bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow, take it back, draw the ribs in, draw the belly in, and then feel around inside the pose, seeing what you notice. Mm. Release, left arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close. As you do so, draw back through your shoulder. Sitting tall. Release, arm out, thumb points down. Wrap it around. This time when you interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top, knuckles towards the front, elbows towards one another. And then circle your left shoulder. <sighs> Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest, you can stay upright or fold.
and release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Roll your way up and let's bring feet to the floor, hip width apart. Shift your hands to the floor in front of your feet and take a rock front to back, stretching the toes as you go forward, calves and ankles as you go back. And just working with your range of motion, finding your mobility. You shouldn't have more than you have. And then drop the heels, lift the hips, and come to hang and ragdoll, feet hip width apart, parallel. And bend your knees a little or a lot. Letting the upper body hang, letting go. Hmm. Let's plant hands near the front of the mat. Step back, coming into a high push-up position, connecting the head to the heels in a straight long line. Shift your weight forward to lower down, and then come into your back bend. Could be cobra or up dog as low or high as feels right for you. Opening up the front side. And then back to down dog when you're ready, hips high. Opening up the backs of the legs, taking any movement that helps you get into your body here. Drop the knees, sink back to child's pose, hips to the heels, forehead to the floor. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side, pull back through your left hip. Back to center. <sighs> Let's lift up through table, back through down dog, and then take your right leg up, bend your knee in, and start circling this bent right knee. Biggest circle you can make. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a couple times, both directions. And a big step forward, low lunge. We're gonna drop the back knee. If you wanna pat it, you might put a blanket or cushion under there, and it, you may wanna grab your blocks for your hands. Sink the hips forward, looking for an opening at the front of the left hip. And you can keep your hands down, or bring your hands to your knee, or your hips, or even arms up. <laughs> One more breath. Release, hands back to the floor or your blocks. Take the hips back for a hamstring stretch. Inch the front forward, front foot forward, flex toes back. So we're going to go towards a flat back, towards hip square, towards folding, maybe towards splits. And just exploring your edge, your limits, right where they are. If you did slide forward, slide back, both hands to the inside, lizard pose, turn out through the right foot. You can come down onto hands or elbows, blocks or the floor. And if you want to add a quad stretch to this, you could bend the back leg, reach for it and draw it in.
make your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, high to low push up, up dog or cobra to down dog, but you might just step back to down dog or move in some other way. From down dog, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in, circle this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then a big step forward, low lunge. Feel free to adjust your footing. Grab any props. You can pad your back knee, use blocks for your hands, or take whatever arm position you did on the other side. Finding a balance between sinking and lifting, engaging and releasing. Last breath. Hands back to the floor or blocks. Hamstring stretch. Flex toes back, hips square, finding your edge. And you can always go a little deeper or back out slightly as needed. So if you did slide towards splits on the other side, you might try that again. Last breath here. Release. Both hands to the inside. Turn out through the left foot. Lizard pose. And you can adjust the distance between the legs. Turn the left toes out more or less. If you did, add a quad stretch on the other side. You can add that as well. Make your way back to down dog, any movement transition. And then five breaths, any neutral shape, down dog or child's pose or sitting. Come all the way to sitting. Extend legs forward, seated forward fold. You can use your hands on your feet or the floor or something around the feet. Lengthen and fold. to our backs, bring your knees in, circle or rock your knees, and then drop your feet to the floor for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel, press your feet down, lift your hips high. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back, shrug your shoulders underneath you. your arms out of your way. Roll down and rest. Let's grab the soles of the feet on the inside. Happy baby. Press your knees towards the floor. You might explore straightening your legs one at a time or together, part way or all the way. And 
then grab hold of just the right knee, drop the left leg long, and guide your right knee across for a spinal twist. back to center and over to the other side, left knee across. Spinal twist, other side. Roll back onto your back, bring both knees in, and just check in with your body. Do you need anything? If you have more time to practice, keep going. If you're gonna wrap things up with me here now, see what you need to feel complete in your practice. If there's any last pose or stretch or part of your body that could use something. Take your time winding things down. And then even when we only have a little bit of time, it's so good to take a little rest. <sighs> a few moments of not doing anything, just simply being. You can settle into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Let go of the control of your breath. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, move your wrists and ankles, and take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And then use your hands to help you up to sitting. Bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. So good to get in your body, even if it's just a short time. I'm glad you did. <laughs>